Hello, so I'm about to wash my hair. This is my hair when it's due for a wash. Let me just quickly put it all down. I've just been putting it in this clip, which is really, really helpful. As you can tell, it's like quite dry and like really wispy at the front, um, just from where I've been like clipping it back or anything like that. But I'm about to try the new Body Shop range. If you've followed my channel for a while, you'll know I'm a huge fan of the Body Shop. I always do Body Shop hauls. I will leave um, a playlist linked above, but it's been a while since I've done hair care review from the Body Shop. But so when I saw that they brought this out, I was ooh, very excited to try. The girl in the shop, I believe her name was Mika. She's really helpful in there in the Bournemouth Body Shop. She pointed this out to me and I was like, I need to try this. It's not actually a shampoo, it's the Jamaican Black Castor Oil for curls and coils um, and it's a cleansing conditioner. I did do the curly girl method and I tried my best to like stick to it, but you don't kind of wash, you don't shampoo your hair with the curly girl method. So I know that the body shop probably received like a lot of feedback about like things not being curly girl friendly. Um, I know I spoke more about it in my banana hair care review. So it's the uh, cleansing conditioner and then this is the leave-in conditioner. I will see you on the other side. Okay, <laughs> I just washed my hair. This is what I usually do is I just kind of like clip this first like little parting back. Um, but I did film a little clip. The lady, um, two things actually, I'm getting ahead of myself. The first thing is the first impressions were it doesn't really lather because it's not a shampoo and I think that's what I was kind of like struggling with while wow, my hair looks. I literally look like Wednesday Adams. It doesn't lather because it's not a shampoo, it's like a cleansing conditioner, but instantly when I put it on, my hair felt so silky soft. It just felt so soft and obviously curly hair tends to be on the drier side, so anything super hydrating and moisturising was absolutely perfect yeah then i just quickly rizzed whizzed through with my fingers the leave-in conditioner and i mainly kind of put that from the middle to the ends um and then the lady um in the shop very kindly gave me a sample of the curl activator i'm guessing the intention of it is very similar to my boots curl cream that i always always use i don't know where it is it's here as you can tell, I've used quite a lot of it, but I literally buy this in bulk. And the curl activator was very similar texture to that, um, but I have mixed it with a little bit of this just because I absolutely love, love using this. Um, so yeah, I did put that in and again, that felt very soft. So we'll see, we'll see what my hair looks like when it's dry and how long it lasts, so yeah. Good morning. It is m the morning. I slept with my hair wet. You probably can't tell as much, so I'm in the black. So this is what my hair's gone like. It's still slightly wet. I have also just sprayed a little bit of this in with it because I like to like water my hair when it obviously is a bit wispy in the morning sometimes. But I feel like I like it. I just think that it's gone super small curls. I wash my hair with the sheer butter body, sh body shop one, which is my usual go-to is I feel like my curls are like a lot bigger. I don't even know if that's a thing, but let me just show you if you can see. And the volume is great. It feels so soft. That's the main thing. I'm going to go and put my makeup on now um, and get ready for the day. But just instantly, as I've got up, I've just sprayed it slightly in this area here. This is what it's looking like, but I'm happy. Hello. Um, I'll be honest, it's not been my favourite wash yet. With curly hair, obviously, every time I wash it, it's different. So it's really hard to tell. The, the main thing I would say is it feels super, super soft. Super soft. I think the thing that I didn't like that has kind of altered my routine a little bit 
wasn't the cleansing conditioner or the cleansing um, or the leave-in conditioner. It was the curl activator. I don't think I got on with that. I think that's what I need to do. I need to wash my hair again and just stick with my curl cream because I kind of mixed the curl activator and my normal curl cream together. So I really just wish I did it with just the curl cream. Um, because if you can see, some bits are a little bit wispier. Um, I don't know if that's very clear, but some bits are a little bit wis wispier, but it's definitely gone really voluminous. The main thing I wanna say is just like, it feels so, so soft. So yeah, overall, I am really impressed with it. I've used a leave-in conditioner before, but I've not used a cleansing conditioner as like my shampoo, because I know obviously Curly Girl Method, I think says you can't use shampoo on curly hair. So yeah, I think I'm gonna just keep using it, see how I'm getting on, but try it mainly without that curl activator as well, because I just don't think that product was for me, or maybe because I mixed the two products. Don't know, I think just with that, less is more and just stick to one thing um so that's probably my feedback on that but other than that really impressed definitely going to keep using it the bottles of these products are 400 ml so i've absolutely got so much so much of those i usually when i buy the sheer butter i buy it just in the 200 ml but this being in 400 ml is going to last me oh absolutely ages so of course i'm going to keep using that for that reason but also I do really, really like it. Keep you updated in my vlogs how I'm getting on with it um, continuously, but I just wanted to do a first impressions of this product because I haven't seen a video on this and it needed to be done. If you want to see any more of my curly hair or body shop hair care reviews, I have also done a banana hair care review, a sheer butter hair care review, and now the Jamaican black castor oil review. So let me know if there's anything you want me to review because I will 100% do it. I'm always up for trying new things. Just let me get through the 400 mil first. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week for another video. Bye.